Yellowstone supervolcano, explosive magma located as a study pinpoints the probes for potential for a big one eruption. Now we had a 3.2 earthquake in uh, right over Yellowstone Lake yesterday at a depth of about uh, not even three miles down, which is right at the roof of the magma chamber. And uh, the day before that, we had one just south of that, 4.2, uh, just south of that in Idaho. Uh, so we know that that's the area where we have the mantle plume coming from Baja, California, the eastern branch of that going into Salt Lake City, into Yellowstone, and turning west over um, Idaho, Boise, Idaho area. 3.9. We have a lot of uh, large earthquakes there, but the one 3.2, the shallow earthquake right over the lake is, of course, very um, disturbing. Now, we know that we had uh, three big earthquakes in uh, the recent years, the historic geology of uh, Yellowstone. It's one of the 20 supervolcanoes of the world. We had a 2.1 million year super eruption 1.3 million years ago and also 640,000 years ago. And scientists from this study fear that when steamboat geysers suddenly erupted, spewing steam, mud, sand, and rocks into the air, that it could be a sign of volcanic activity beneath Yellowstone. Following a three and a half year nap, this dormant geyser erupted 32 times in 19, uh, 2018 and record-breaking 48 times last year in 2019, another 48 times in 2020. But a new study published in the journal Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences concludes that steamboats' frequent activity does not foretell a volcanic eruption. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetize my YouTube channel. I'll have at least five videos that are not on my YouTube channel, videos that, of course, uh, are censored to certain platforms. I hope you'll find them interesting. The link is in, this, in the description box below each video. Thank you for your support. Yellowstone supervolcano has not had a major eruption in 70,000 years. It's had a another 80 eruptions since those 70,000 years ago, but scientists are constantly looking for hints of when the next big one eruption, a super eruption, may occur. While Steamboat Geyser has sprung back to life, scientists concluded that its sudden activity did not come along with the underground magma movement often seen before a volcanic eruption. The study's author was Michael Magma, and he said, we did not find any evidence that there is a big volcanic eruption coming. In December, the scientist in charge of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Dr. Mike Poland, detailed how researchers had uncovered the secrets of the system during the USGS video, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, overview, monitoring, hazards, and noteworthy results. Now, he said the Yellowstone system is comprised of multiple magma chambers. He says we have this mantle melting anomaly deep beneath the surface, but there's a couple of magma chambers that this melting anomaly feeds. One is quite deep, it's 15 miles or so beneath the surface, and is full of very low viscous magma called basalt, he says. He says this is the kind of thing that erupts from Hawaii, low viscosity flows very easily, and then we know we have Kilauea not right now erupting in Hawaii. But uh, he says concerning Yellowstone, it in turn, that basaltic magma body feeds a higher level reservoir of rhyolite, which is a sticky magma prone to be more explosive. And this sits about three miles beneath the surface in parts of Yellowstone, only three miles down. But Dr. Poland went on to explain why these chambers are not thought to be full of molten rock. He said, but don't think of these as gigantic magma bodies that are just full of roiling, boiling liquid material. In fact, most of this is solid. The upper reservoir is only 5 to 15% molten. And this lower reservoir here is only about 2 to 5% molten. It's a mushy, plasticky zone with little bits of melt in the middle. And that's what the Yellowstone magma system looks like 
and this is what drives the hazards in the region, he says. Yesterday, as we said before, we had a 3.2 magnitude earthquake in Rock Yellowstone National Park. It was right over Yellowstone Lake. And we know the lake is uh, on the uh, southeastern four or five o'clock position of over the caldera. And uh, we have been told by the scientists that even a stiff breeze over the lake causes earthquakes over the roof of the magma chamber. Okay, so even the stiff breeze over the surface of the lake is uh, uh, causing concern for earthquakes because a huge uh, magma chamber has a huge roof, which is not the same as a smaller volcano, because if the, if the huge roof cracks, that's not good news. But anyway, we had the 3.2 yesterday. Rocking uh, reports, uh, the National Park reports of rumbling, posted online by members of the public. Tectonic earthquakes are among the most powerful natural phenomena on the planet and have long been thought to trigger volcanic eruptions. USGS believes that sometimes earthquakes can trigger volcanic activity through severe uh, ground shaking or their ability to otherwise change the local pressure surrounding magmatic sources nearby. But they stress the triggered mechanisms of such events are not well understood and papers linking quakes to late eruptions can really only be speculating uh, such actions. They also believe the timing could just be a coincidence and are keen to study them further to learn what can happen. So this is on um, Express UK by Callum Hoare. I wish you all a wonderful, healthy and prosperous new year. Thank you for your support, especially those people who are generous enough to, to support my Patreon account. Thank you so much.